<laughs> like <laughs> to like think of all of that. Like that probably took him like 10 minutes at least, dude. It's impressive. You love to see it, dude. Okay, let's make a command out of that other one, though. What should we call the command, though? Not really sure. Come, really? Like, actually? Like, the same guy? I like the legendary vocalist one, too. That's pretty funny. I really like that one. And, it, like, it's not the first time people say, like, the music ruins it or whatever. But, like, um... The, uh, just the, the, like the, the fact that their name is greatest vocalist or something. Oh, Yumfa. Well, the thing is I could make a Yumfa command that like, apparently there was this shit with him where he like took a bunch of people's routes for things and then didn't like credit them or something like some like minor shit. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, maybe that's a good one, though. What are the letters? Y, M, F, A, H. There you go. <laughs> Dude, wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, wait a second. We have to, we have to make that flow better. God, why is his name like this? Okay, let's make this on a separate line so it, like, just reads better. Here we go. I should probably, uh, cool down this one. Probably, like, a, probably, like, a three-minute cool down. Here we go. <laughs> okay, that's good. These people, man. <clears throat> I should ask what party's referencing to, though. God, that's... <laughs> Yeah, and so, like, that, the comment about, uh, that, like, fucking NG, like, you know, that stupid comment of the guy fucking saying I should do this, whatever, fist only, and even though the run literally was fist, but, and then, like, do it on NG plus seven, all Soulsborne games or something. Um, that's where that, like, whole fucking, like, that meme is so bad, and it's crazy, dude. That's literally the worst meme that anybody has ever come up with. It's like, yeah, no, fucking do it all bosses or like do it fucking. Yeah, and then do it upside down in space, man. Like, what are you even doing? On NG to NG plus seven in every Souls game. And then you have to do it. With your fucking. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I would hate. Ah, oh, that's funny. Except it's not funny at all. It's actually like really not funny. Yeah, with your like with your actual dick in your ass, dude. Obviously. Oh yeah, that no. Well, that's totally true though. Like that's actually totally true. 
Even if I, like, even if I did say that, like, that, I mean, that's totally true. Like, the thing is, it's not like I do these runs to satisfy other people. Like, I don't give a shit. So. I definitely wouldn't tell anybody to shut the fuck up, though. Because <laughs> they were being like, yeah, I would do this with firebombs. But yeah, I totally, I totally couldn't do that with firebombs, of course. Or without firebombs. There's no way. It's impossible. Yes, one fist only, no damage. Showed it on his YouTube channel. What was it? The legendary Yimfa dude? No, it's super. I mean, doing deacons with it's super easy to do it without firebombs. Like, it's super easy to do. No problem. But, like, the the whole, like, what I remember from doing that run is the whole point of doing the run was, like, like, when I do weapon runs in, in the games, like, especially in DS3, every single no-hit run that you could find allows consumables, right? Unless you just, unless you just didn't allow consumables, I guess, but, yeah, like, I just, I did fist, I did fist no-hit, and I allowed consumables. Like, it's as simple as that. And that, that, those were my rules for the run. So. What's the what's his current bed uh, tool? <laughs> Dude on fan That's that's the best one, man. That'd be like impossible. Does he even have 10 runs? Like, uh, how is that even... I don't know. How is he still doing bets, dude? Has he even won a single bet ever? Ten no hit. Like, it just depends what the runs are, I guess. Uh, this is not a pyro. I'm just doing SL1. God run two. So the, the five game run. Like, that shouldn't be... Or no, that's the... Is that the six game run? I don't fucking know. There's a hundred god runs at this point. What if I get God Run 2 before Hob does, dude? Oh my god. The That's so cringe, dude. That's <laughs> so cringe. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. That's what people call it, man. Holy fuck, I forgot about that. The legendary day of destiny, you guys, where Ots got his DS2 all bosses run. That at this point, 100 other people have gotten. And then... Hob got his legendary god run. That now a bunch of people have gotten. Well, maybe not a bunch, but... The fucking day of destiny, dude. Pog champ. Oh. 
Oh man, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, we should celebrate the day of destiny every year, you guys. That's awesome. Wonder if there'll be a day of destiny when I get uh trilogy of bosses, man. Maybe like maybe uh I don't know. Maybe uh maybe Hob will get his god run too when I get trilogy all bosses and it'll be the day of destiny too or something. Ascend Dude, Ascendant Mod Trilogy would be the real... That's the real god run. Uh, my trill... Well, I don't know... I don't know how long this game is, but I would assume it's the same or around the same as DS3, so it would probably be, uh... Um, probably like, yeah, seven, seven hours, six and a half to seven hours or so. Actually, like three and a half plus like, yeah, yeah, like seven hours. I'm guessing this game's like one, 155 or around there. Might be faster than that, though. That's what you get, actually. That's what that guy gets for trying to do that. Yeah, DS2, like, and that's, that's like, that's pretty generous estimate, too, for DS2. Like, three and a half hours, it'll probably be, like, 315 or less. Okay, one four, yeah, so it'll probably be, like, 150 then or something like that. And then DS3 is like 150 or maybe, yeah, maybe around 145. So. Did I forget to kill the guy? Oh, you guys, I'm so stupid, man. And he's already aggroed. Oh my god. I just forgot to kill him, man. But I guess, yeah, I don't know, like, I don't know what kind of strats Barker used on that, so. I'm assuming that's, like, a consistent route, though. <laughs> Someone else got the credit. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, I don't think... I don't think somebody else is going to get the credit. I think they're just there's not going to be an article probably. Like realistically. If I was if I was like going to give you guys my serious estimate for that, it would be Yeah, there's probably just going to not be anything about the run. Not that I, like, really care, but, like, nobody reads fucking shit <laughs> game journalist articles anyways, but. Okay, I like the sound of that, CBD. I'll have to look at that. Like, I mean, that's probably what I'll route my old bosses from. Yeah. 
That sounds pretty good. So yeah, like 145, 145, and then it'll probably be like seven hours. Wow. Am I stupid or something? Never missed a kick in my life, except for right there. And then, yeah, DS2 will also probably be faster than three and a half hours as well. If I were to guess. Oh, is Duck doing no hit? Yeah, like, I'll probably check. Like, I don't know. I'm not really sure how much I could use, like, a speedrun route from that. Like, that's, that's what I do a lot of the time. Like, for DS3, you just, like, the speedrun route is pretty solid. With a few tweaks, maybe. But I feel like there's a lot more shit in this game, but maybe there's not. Well, no-hit speedruns are great, too, because, like, all you have to do is, like, watch the route and then kind of adjust the strats. Like, take the general idea of the run. And then... That's what that guy gets. Like, take the idea, take the route, take the upgrade path of the run, and then just kind of remove... Or, like, switch the strats up to be consistent. Uh, Josh, thanks for the uh, good luck, dude. That's kind of what I did for my any percent routes, like based on Xenosum's uh, no hit speed run. My route's not actually that much slower than his run was too, which is interesting. Like when I first did any percent, it was like, it was really slow because I didn't do do skip, but with do skip now, my run's like a 105 to 110 or something. Yeah, I don't remember what time he got, but it's definitely it's definitely a time that I think is achievable with like even a safe no hit route, probably. Like, and I think he quit out a bunch of times too. What is this? What is that like wild turn before? That was a nice fight actually. I haven't seen Squilla stream in a very long time. Is he really doing fist only speed run? What is that? Is he doing is he doing that in DS3? <laughs> what is that? What like why is he doing that, man? <laughs> hmm. Like is, he, is this like an in-between thing or is he like actually seriously going for a fist speed run? Or is he just going for YouTube stuff?
I actually, I've been, like, the thing is, I've been, like, streaming a lot and sleeping during the day. I, like, I've just been sleeping through the time when Squilla normally streams, so. I haven't seen a stream in a long time. Must be, like, preparing something. I feel like that's what a lot of the big streamers do when they're, like, they're like preparing some other run and then they just do like some in-between shit that, I don't know. Four hours? That seems extremely slow. <laughs> that sounds really slow. Like I can't imagine that run is over two hours, to be honest with you. Like is, he, is it glitchless or something? Like the damage on fist isn't that bad. No, I know all bosses, yeah. Like realistically, how much time would you lose on like if an optimized glitchless run like say you're not quitting out is like a, you know. Like for no hit, I was looking at like a 135 or so or something like that, right? Like is is each boss like like, the bosses combined, probably adding, like, yeah, like, 30 minutes, so... That sounds reasonable to me. Right? Like, it's, you know, like, a, a fast cinder fight with Fist isn't gonna be much over five minutes. Like, you're gonna be getting, like... How much damage per hit? Leveled... Um... Oh, how long was Nemz's run when he did that? It was probably like over two hours, actually, so I don't know. Donated. Oh, that, yeah, wow. Fist, fist on Yorm, wow, that's insane, dude. Insane scam. Fist first? Oh, that's a good point, Askaron. Yeah, true. He has to go get his fist first, yeah. Yeah, maybe like two and a half hours, I would say. I don't know. As like a very just safe guess as like a decent time. Four and a half hours? Okay, maybe I'm insane or something. But no, there's no way. There's that he just he probably died like a hundred times, dude. There's actually no way it's that bad. Like I routed I routed fist no hit all bosses and it was not bad. Yeah, he was quote unquote just memeing, dude. All of his deaths were totally on purpose, I'm sure. <laughs> I'd imagine he died to Grave Tender a bunch of times. Yeah, I, like, I can't imagine over two and a half hours, to be honest. I think for that. Two and a half hours. Like, cause, yeah, when I was doing no hit, I think... I mean, I guess I was using, like, RTSR, but... Lloyd's isn't much different. I think I was getting over 150 damage a swing on Cinder or something like that. Alright, what's up, Vish? And, like, that amount of damage is not bad at all. Especially on Fist, where you're, like, swinging fast. <laughs> I probably use Fire Bombs, too. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Wait, what children's game is he playing? Assassin's better, Vish. For leveled and upgrades. Whoa. 
Yeah, I mean, tw the Twin Blades are in... Uh... Is he going to shoot this here? Pick up the Twin Blades in uh, the forest. I mean, they're very early. Dude, all these guys are fake gamers, I'm realizing. Five and a half hours, dude. Bunch of fake gamers, man. Slow and fake. No, I meant I meant for that like that spot that he just threw it at. Like I thought he was gonna like I got hit the other day because like Like I don't know, he just he just threw it there when I was on it. Like even though I was still moving. Oh my god, I almost fell. <laughs> Was that the popular YouTube comment? I think I got to do a fist uh, a fist run, you guys. I think it's high time to do a fist run here. Got to show the alpha gamer. Oh, yeah, they don't use firebombs. That must be that, that three-hour time loss is the firebombs, dude. On DS1. Is, how is leveled fist damage in this game? Yeah, no, this is good at games. But like five and a half hours, that's pretty rough, dude. Oh, it doesn't scale. Okay, well, there you go. DS3 scales with strength and dex equally. And you can get good damage from it, actually. Like, very reasonable damage. I'll do it no problem, Askron. Literally zero problem. Easiest challenge of my life. Reminds me of the scrub Bloodborne players who like couldn't do BL4 all bosses for like such a long ass time. Until God Gamer Eden came along. Same with the scrub DS2 players who couldn't do SL1 all bosses for such a long time until God Gamer Gino came along. He's not making it. Oh, he made it. Oh, what a god, dude. Bet. Well, are you betting that I can or are you betting that I won't? Which one is it? You think I can't? <laughs> I 
I bet you I could. Yeah, I could just buy a PS5, though. Obviously, I won't. But that's but that's not the bet. The bet is that I can't. I would literally bet, like, a million dollars that I could. But I won't. Of course. Because I'd have to get the shittiest console of all time. By the shittiest company of all time. Maybe not of all time, but pretty close, maybe. Why am I rolling like a casual DS1 player? Literally, that's what the casuals do. They fucking roll right there. Like a casual. I like my uh, Quay Lake fight because, like, the last few days I like was, or the last like few runs or streams or whatever, I wasn't confident on the fight, but now I, I am confident. I just needed to practice her like for a couple minutes. Now it's all good. Whoops. Did I buy the box? Any DS1 fans sad that I'm killing the giant, dude? Any fake gamers? It's like... It's like in the Spongebob, uh... Spongebob movie when they go to the fucking, like... The biker gang bar or whatever. And they're, like, blowing bubbles in the bathroom. And then fucking... They have, like, a test to see who's the fake, uh... Who's, like, not a real man. It's like what we're playing here, dude. Anyone sad that that giant just died? <laughs> exactly, dude. We know how to weed him out. Dude, people, I know people are upset about that, but they're not commenting. Or they're not typing in the chat. Bunch of cowards. Bunch of cowards, dude. Everyone's sad about it, but you just fucking... Maybe, maybe... Hiding I'll it. I'll give you the best nut ever. Hiding your emotion. This is going too far. Gotta play, like, the Plin Plin Plong song. So that people start, like, crying. Uh, Tool, thanks for the uh, brand new sub, dude. I appreciate it. That's a, that's another way how you weed them out, dude. You just fucking you play the Gwyn theme and see who starts having tears running down their eyes. That's how you weed them out, dude. I'm gonna die again here because fucking. Oh. You bitch. That's how you weed them out? Don't charge. 
This is what I get. Oh my god, that was so close. I can't believe it. <laughs> that was so close. I got so... Like, I... I I'm surprised I didn't get hit, hit by Smoe's garbage attack there. Totally calculated. <laughs> Good thing that wasn't the, uh, the other one. Not sure if the stagger is reset by this point, so. Oh my god, bro. Just fucking... Okay. Smell you fat bastard. Where's he going, dude? Uh-oh. What an absolute trash phase one that was, dude. Bubble blowing double babies, dude. <laughs> God. What is it? Double bubble blowing double babies, dude. What a bunch of fucking 
bubble blowing double babies, dude. Embarrassing. It's embarrassing, dude. <laughs> Really embarrassing. That might be TOS. I don't know. I might get banned for that. Amaranth tier ban coming. Uh, what's up? Did it tickle? With the C and no K. Did Lobos do hot, like a real hot tub stream or like a fake one, dude? I'm only interested in real hot tub streams here. That's all I care about. Don't stagger me, asshole. Like an actual real one, dude. <laughs> oh my god, it's probably unironic, too. He wants to show off his hot body, man. That's what playing like... A hundred years of souls does to you. And I got hit there, actually. I don't know. Get a bath bomb? Yeah, it was totally unironic. He actually wanted to have a nice bath on stream. Or he wanted to have, like, a nice bath, but it, like, messed up with his, uh, like, souls time. So he had to combine it. Or maybe, like, maybe his girlfriend, like, had... Picks up all the bath time or something. <laughs> okay, here we go. What's up, Brodo? God tier name change. Whoops. That's unfortunate. Yeah, washed. Exactly, dude. Completely washed up. <laughs> A shadow of my former, former self here. Wow. This guy's garbage, man. Uh-oh. That was kind of close, actually. I didn't really get set up in time. Because I, I went a little bit too far and then got the, like, hard landing. No, I got hit by that archer guy because I didn't remember. Uh, I didn't maybe, remember that maybe. you had to like climb down first. I'll give you the best nut ever. Like I just started this like sliding down, and I must have gotten lucky the last few runs. Uh, Brodo, thanks for the uh, 19 months, man. I appreciate it, dude. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. This is going too far. And uh, thanks for gifting a sub to CBD, man. Thanks, dude. This might not be enough damage here. It's annoying. Yeah, next, next thing you know, dude, I'm going to whip out the hot tub stream out of nowhere. Gonna be wearing like a a speedo. <laughs> Actually, I'll just wear nothing, dude. 
Literally just don't wear anything. No, I didn't see the Lobo stream. What happened? <laughs> Did he actually write sub names on his body? That's a lie. That's 100% a lie. Yeah, he he's transforming, dude. I wouldn't even be surprised if he started doing that full time now. I actually wouldn't even be surprised. No cap, dude. I actually I actually really don't want a clip. Really do not want one. Well, I guess uh, yeah, you can pose it. I'm just not going to watch it. I really I don't want to see that. Uh-oh. Are you alive still? Must have missed the, the thing. Ads. Well, yeah, maybe. Maybe next thing you know. Next thing you know, I'm going to be fucking naked on stream and farting into my mic or something for subs. Sure looks jacked. <laughs> okay, let me see this. <laughs> fucking jacked, dude. That's epic. God. This is actually the worst, man. Well, I, just, I had to see it now because I didn't believe for one second that he would be jacked. And I was totally... Well, I don't know. I, I was curious, dude. Because maybe he was, man. Maybe underneath all that... All the hoodies he always wears. He's fucking... Got his, like, 25-inch arms or something. Good at souls and jacked? Are you kidding me, dude? You probably could. You probably could beat him. <laughs> I wouldn't even doubt it. What's up, uh, Mats? Yeah, you're probably right. I don't think I could, though. How did that not hit him? Pretty sure I couldn't. I'm pretty weak. Yeah, Ozzy's totally right, dude. Uh, squad W. Dude, you should see these, like, girls at arm wrestle, man. They're fucking... I mean, they probably are on roids, to be fair, but... Absolutely fucking jacked, man. Everyone who arm wrestles is on roids, I think. Basically. Like, like, and I'm not even just saying that. Like, they actually are. They're all roided up. Because there's no, there's no testing, man. Like, some guy, like, the top arm wrestler in the world is... I think his highest weight was, like, 400 and, uh... You know, 400 and... Like, over 400 pounds. And, like, only a few years ago, he was, like, he was, like, 190 pounds, dude. Like, you don't just do that. 
Like, unless, unless maybe I'm just doing it wrong or something, but... I'm pretty sure you don't just do that. Pretty sure that's not how it works. But maybe I'm the dumb one. Maybe you can do that. Maybe you can just go from 190 to fucking 400 pounds and literally like no fat still. Maybe. Just like a gorilla. Yeah, you just gotta eat your vegetables and you're good to go. Nah, even even Devin Laird, a hundred percent, he's he was on something for last match for sure, like undoubtedly, dude. Like I think he just looks the most normal because he's like, he's like six, uh, I think he's like six five, or something, and he only has like nineteen inch biceps, only nineteen inches, dude. But it's just because his arms are so long that it's like it looks smaller. Like if he was like if he's like six feet tall, his arms would be like fucking massive. Yeah, no, he he definitely doesn't do it as much as, um, well, I mean, I I don't know for sure, but based on based on what I can see, he definitely doesn't do it as much as like Levon, right? Like that's what I'm talking about. Fucking Levon, dude, is a roid machine, and same with same with Dennis Saplankov. Like those fucking guys are just roid machines, man. Who's Scott Steiner? I don't know who that is. To be fair, Juji Mufu is like, he, like, that's how I actually found out about Devin Laird and like all the arm wrestling stuff. Initially. But he's a fucking weak ass arm wrestler, dude. Like, he can't do shit. Triple H? <laughs> oh, the big Triple H, dude. Holy fuck. Why didn't you say so? Yeah, I don't think he's very, like, I think he's, like, like, honestly, he's what I imagine when I think of, like, bodybuilders, dude. You know? Yeah, Gasparin Gasparini looks like a fucking crazy man right now. Yeah, he's pretty... It, it, it always does, like, cross my mind, though. I, like, I wonder how much... PEDs they all use though. Like I always gotta wonder that. But yeah, he looks pretty fucking insane right now. That's true. But I think like the Matt Mask match though, like I I don't think Matt Mask was in the best shape he's ever been in, you know? Like Gasparini was, but Mask he didn't look great. And I like I think it's just the based on what I saw, he wasn't he wasn't like the the last year and a half or whatever hasn't been great for him, so. You know what I mean. you know. Be nice to see a third match. <laughs> Whether like both in like prime form or something. Because I think I think that'd be a really good match, actually. Like I, I think they're pretty evenly matched. Wake up at 1 a.m., do 1,000 push-ups, eat an entire horse, bench press a school bus. Yeah, exactly, dude. Ready for the day at 2 a.m., and then you wait an hour and you do your next set. Horse. I've never heard of him, uh, Zonzo. Like, I don't know. I, I honestly, like, I don't know about enough about that kind of stuff to even know, like... The most familiar body type that I'm, or like, that I could recognize is like a calisthenics body type. And I feel like most people who do calisthenics don't do roids, because, you know, it's more about being, like, extremely lean. 
And, uh, I almost died there. And, uh... Like, you don't want to be too heavy, too, right? Like, you want to just be... Like, pound for pound, as strong as possible. Instead of being just as strong as you possibly could be. I'm 5'11". Holy lets me through here. Yeah, I'm about 5'2", actually, yeah. I was- I was lying. Oh my god, if he didn't die from that, that'd have been catastrophic. And he almost didn't, too. I don't know who Vince McMahon is or Mr. America, but the thing is like the difference between actual arm wrestlers versus just like people who are really strong is com is immense, dude. It's, it's like a huge fucking difference. Like it's like completely not the same. It's like there's a video, there's a really famous video of Devin Lairet arm wrestling, uh... Thor Bjornsson or whatever his name is. And it's like he's, it's like he's with a kid or something. Like, like an actual kid. Like a little, like a little child or something. Like who is, uh... Like, I mean, he's the strongest in the world as far as I know. Like, like actually the strongest person in the world. At least from the competitions or I I don't know I don't pay attention to like strongman stuff but yeah Yeah, I mean, like, nobody nobody can do shit against arm, wrestler, arm wrestlers except other arm wrestlers. Like, there's a lot more to it than just, like, pure strength. Like, a lot more to it. Like, maybe when you're, like, arm wrestling your friends in fucking school or something, it's just about, like, strength. But as soon as you can actually, like, as soon as you actually know what you're doing, then it's, yeah, it's completely different. Like, you can be significantly weaker than somebody else in, like, a lot of areas, but yeah, I don't really like this. Please fire a lightning. Well, it's not even just technique. It's like, I mean, that's part of it. Like, knowing what to do with your hand and stuff, but it's also, like, having the right strength, too, right? Like, having strength that, like, you know, strong men don't necessarily have in certain areas of their arm. It's like, like, one thing, like, rock climbers and, like, a lot of people who do calisthenics are actually, like, 
really good arm wrestlers right away just because they're working a lot of the same muscles that are like key to arm wrestling. Yeah, I don't, I don't know shit about Strongman, to be honest. Like, I know, like, very little about that kind of thing, but... Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, it's more than just strength. Obviously, the strongest person will have the best chance of being the best, but... Like, the total package. But literally, no, I don't, like... I don't know. No, nobody's, as far as I know, has been like this whole package in, in arm wrestling. Like, not even like Denis Siplankov. Like, he was insanely strong. But, like, technically not even, like, remotely close to being the best. Hopefully I don't get stepped on or fucking input eaten or something. Oh, dude. Just not in position fast enough here. Oh my god, that was so close. I got so I got so lucky right there. I'm supposed to wait until he does the follow up to like make sure that I can go for it. But I did not right there. I got, I like, I actually got away with that big time. Like, just like most of the time in that position, he follows it up. So I was like, oh, it's probably fine. But it was not fine. But he didn't jump, so. Or he didn't jump uh, fast enough. The direction? Uh, I don't know. I mean, probably. Like, like normally jumps backwards, right? But, I mean, I guess he can jump over you too. Like, you just want to be the right distance for the fight. I think it's kind of like the key thing. Yeah, don't stand under him, and also don't get too far away from him, because that's where, like, if you're too far away, and he jumps, like, you can potentially be, like, right in the spot where he lands. Which is not good. Almost certain death.
Weird how this is... Oh, boy. Good thing I fucking rolled right there. I was a little close. What's up, uh, 1 PR time? The magical strafe right there, dude. You love to see it. I should actually drop that a bit later. Give me magic. Let's see it. Wow. Still lots of time. I should be here. What's up, QI? No. Uh, the hammer is plus five. Which is, uh, maximum.
Yeah, about a 115. 115, like 120 or so. And this run's been a decent pace, actually. Like, I think I missed do skip, though, one time. Like, I had to go back up the elevator. Wait, world record for what? For SL1? <laughs> or what do you mean? Well, I mean, my first any percent that I did like a few days ago was 112, so I guess it's not. And that was, like, really bad RNG on that run, too. Like, that was a really slow run. That was probably, like, seven minutes slower than it should have been. But, I mean, somebody has, like... Xeno, some did it faster than that by, like, a lot. But I guess... I don't know. Like, I guess he kind of, like, quit out a whole bunch of times, but I don't know. Well, 118 is not slow. Like, it's not that slow. Like, if if, if there's no do, do skip on that, then that's, like, pretty reasonable. With do skip, maybe, like, a little slow, I guess, but... No, it wasn't, it wasn't 54 minutes. His run was, like, 103 or something. I don't think he did a no-hit in 54. Uh, what's up, Elves? Maybe that was like his, uh, like just like a normal speed run. I don't know. But maybe he did. And I just like missed it. That's the time I saw him get, I think was one, 103 or something like that. Oh, wait, the Catalyst did a no hit run in Dark Souls 1? It's either the site's wrong or something's getting mixed up. Unless he did do that, I don't know. That seems pretty slow for him though. Unless you're talking about like an all bosses time or uh, like, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Really? Is there a link to the video there? Something seems off here. I don't know. I'm pr I, I don't know. What's up, Depot? I feel like he would not have done a no-hit run, but. Somebody told me that, um. Kanon did like a 118. Maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Is it Catalyst on the website, though? Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, I, I knew something was... <laughs> I knew something wasn't right. I just wasn't sure where the where the discrepancy was. Let's just hit list. I mean, I guess sort of, but like... Not really, though, I guess. I don't know. Like, there's obviously something there.
But to say it's a category might be a bit of a stretch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he would never do a no hit run. Man. Nice. Yeah, see? There you go. That's why what happened last run was a very good thing. Because I saw that attack for the first time in several years, and then I remembered what I was supposed to do on it. Hitless category? I mean, I people have th definitely talked about that. Like, not just even no-hit runners. Like, especially DS2. DS2 speedrunners like no-hit runs, I think. I don't think it's a bad idea at all, but it just depends how many people run it. Yeah, the DS2... Actually, DS2 speedrunners are by far the most... Uh, I don't know what the right word is, but... I guess the most welcoming of no-hit runs and no-hit speedrun stuff. And I think it's probably because it's probably because how they run DS2 is already very like it's very clean already, you know? Like no quit outs at all. There's not like a ton of out of bounds skips. So the speedruns that they're doing is already very similar to no hit runs. Yeah, DS3, yeah, DS3 for sure. Yeah. At least from what I've seen. Yeah, dude, like I was it was actually really surprising like especially uh pseudo dude pseudo like he jumped on no hit speedruns like right away he's like oh dude this is actually really cool what's up mr cookies Well, I don't know. I don't know if David Tanger's like quite a founder, but he's definitely one of the original no hit runners or like he definitely hopped on the no hit train when it was going on. He's a good runner.
Very good runner, but I think, like... He really liked the world's first idea, though, I think. Like, maybe a bit too much. Okay, I should have practiced Gwyn more, but hopefully I don't fucking mess a parry. I can get this run over with. Oh yeah, I'm a, I'm a cool black dude, of course, dude. For sure. But I just turned the cam on and yeah. I mean, you might not be able to tell, but I'm totally black. 100%. Yeah. I'm not going to get canceled for that, am I? Hopefully not. Yeah. And I only listen to the smoothest of jazz. <laughs> only the smoothest jazz here, dude. Oh, that was such a bad roll, actually, dude. Oh, my God. That was disgusting. I don't know why that guy's aggroing earlier all of a sudden. <clears throat> I was I was going to do the last parry but I decided just keep it simple. There we go. That was that was a nice run dude. Not that's actually a pretty solid time too. Like I mean it's exactly I said 15 to 20 and that's literally right in between so nice. Okay, that run's done. Yeah, we like the I'm actually, the the progression to get this run was actually like flawless, basically. Like, uh, basically what I mean by that is we like I didn't get it instantly, which meant I actually had to learn some stuff, which was like you know that'll that'll be useful later. I think I think next we'll do um. Uh, we'll do weapon level zero, I guess, I think, next. That's a one. Like, we could do leveled, but I, I, I don't see the point. I mean, the run, basically the run I already did is, wep like, no upgrade already, so. 
Or I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't... Like, we'll do SL1 weapon level 0, any percent. And then after that... After that, we could go for Trilogy or we could just go for... Uh, um, We could just start doing all boss in this game and then go up to, like, SL1 le weapon level 0 all bosses. And then... We could do that on NG plus 7, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We'll do a couple more runs. Like, there's not too many runs I want to do in this game, I don't think. We could route it now. I don't know.